สวัสดีครับทุกคน Welcome back to my channel ยินดีต้อนรับสู่ช่องมาเรียนภาษาด้วยดันเธอนะครับ So I'm posting this video as a form of revision of our previous lessons in the past week, specifically days 11 to 15. Okay, so let's get started. เริ่มกันเลย So for day 11, we've learned about the basic words and phrases related to the house or our homes. So ที่บ้านที่บ้าน that means at home. Remember, T is the preposition at, and ban is house or home. T ban is at home. Okay. So here are the parts of the house that we've learned last time. The roof is หลังคาหลังคา The window หน้าต่างหน้าต่าง The wall ผนังผนัง I think we have another word for wall. กำแพงกำแพง Which is located outside. So the difference between panang and kampang is that the panang is inside and the kampang is outside. Okay. So pun pun is the floor, and patu patu is the door. So living room in Thai is hong nang len hong nang len. So we have a sample sentence here. Chan du TV n a hong nang len. ฉันดูทีวีในห้องนั่งเล่น Okay, I watch TV in the living room. So the usual things that we find in the living room are TV and the sofa. So TV is ทีวีทีวี and sofa โซฟาโซฟา So remember the classifier for TV is เครื่องเครื่อง So one TV is ทีวีเครื่องหนึ่ง and the classifier for sofa is ตัวตัว So one sofa, sofa to one. So let's move on to the kitchen. Hong Kua, Hong Kua. So the sample sentence we have. Hom tama ha ne Hong Kua. Hom tama ha ne Hong Kua. Okay, I cook in the kitchen. So the usual things that we find in the kitchen are tu yin, the fridge, and tao, the stove. So the oven, we simply add o after tao. So tao o is oven. So perhaps uh, these are appliances. So we would use the classifier เครื่องเครื่อง So one fridge is ตู้เย็นเครื่องหนึ่ง and one stove เอาเครื่องหนึ่ง So let's move on. Dining room. The dining room is ห้องอาหาร in Thai, and we have a sample sentence here. ฉันกินข้าวในห้องอาหารฉันกินข้าวในห้องอาหาร I eat in the dining room. So the usual meals that we have on a day are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So breakfast in Thai is อาหารเช้าอาหารเช้า or ข้าวเช้าข้าวเช้า Lunch is อาหารกลางวันอาหารกลางวัน or ข้าวเที่ยงข้าวเที่ยง The word for dinner in Thai is อาหารเย็นอาหารเย็น or ข้าวเย็นข้าวเย็น So the usual things that we find in the dining room table. โต๊ะโต๊ะ and chair เก้าอี้เก้าอี้ so for these two we use the classifier ตัวตัว so one table for example we say โต๊ะตัวหนึ่งโต๊ะตัวหนึ่ง for four chairs we say เก้าอี้สี่ตัวเก้าอี้สี่ตัว so let's move on to the bathroom in Thai we say ห้องน้ำห้องน้ำ so sample sentence ผมอาบน้ำในห้องน้ำผมอาบน้ำในห้องน้ำ I take a bath in the bathroom. Let's move on. The last one, the bedroom. In Thai, ห้องนอนห้องนอน Okay, so sample sentence. ฉันนอนในห้องนอนฉันนอนในห้องนอน I sleep in the bedroom. So the usual thing that we find in the bedroom is the bed, of course. So in Thai we say เตียงเตียง Okay, so we use the classifier ตัว For this, so we say one bed, yang tuan neng, yang tuan neng. Last bit for day eleven. This and that in Thai, we say ni and nan respectively. Okay, if we're going to present something, we say ni ku, ni ku. This is, that is, nan ku, nan ku. So for example, this is a table. Ni ku to, ni ku to. And that is the bed. Nan hu tiang. Nan hu tiang. However, if you're going to say this table or that table, 
we would change the tone of these words to high tone. So we say, ni nan. So this table is oni, oni, and that bed is tiang nan, tiang nan. However, if we're going to talk about people or animals, we would have to add the classifier before ni or nan. So for example, we say, this cat, meltoni, meltoni, that boy, so we would have to use hon and to before ni or nan. So that's it for day 11. So let's move on to day 12. Day 12. On day 12, we learned about the common things that we can find at work and at school. So at work in Thai is ki tham ngan. Ki tham ngan. So we use the same preposition, ki, just like at home. Ki ban. Ki ban. So, ti tham ngan, at work. Here are the usual people that we meet at work. The boss, tao nai, tao nai. The secretary, le khanu kan, le khanu kan. And the co-worker, pheun luom ngan, pheun luom ngan. So, remember the word for employer in Thai, nai zhang, nai zhang. And employee is luk zhang, luk zhang. Okay, so let's move on. So here are sample sentences with words related to the things that we find at work. So the computer is on the table. Computer you bon to. Computer you bon to. There's a lot of paper on the table. We say mi e kasan mark my bon to. Mi e kasan mark my bon to. Or we can replace mark my with yo mark. So we say mi e kasan yo mark bon to. Okay. So at school. At school in Thai is Thi Long Lian. Thi Long Lian. So here's the common things that we can find at school. Homework. Gan Ban. Gan Ban. Notebook. Samu. Samu. Exam. Gan So. Gan So. Pencil. Din So. Din So. Han. Akka. Akka. Eraser. Yang Lok. Yang Lok. And so here are some sample sentences. I study with my classmates in the library. Chan lian gap phuen lum chan nai hong samu. Chan lian gap phuen lum chan nai hong samu. Okay, this lesson is not difficult. It's very easy. In Thai, we say, Ot lian ni mai ya, ngai ma. Ot lian ni mai ya, ngai ma. So let's move on. So we also learned about the days of the week on day 12. So let's have a quick look at the days of the week in Thai. Monday. Wan Chan, Wan Chan. Tuesday, Wan Ang Khan, Wan Ang Khan. Wednesday, Wan Put, Wan Put. Thursday, Wan Palahat Sabodi, Wan Palahat Sabodi. Or we can shorten this into Wan Palahat, Wan Palahat. Okay. Friday, Wan Sup, Wan Sup. Saturday, Wan Sao, Wan Sao. And Sunday, Wan Atit, Wan Atit. So remember the word for Sunday, atit can also mean week in Thai. So for example, this week we say atit ni, atit ni. Okay. So here are some sample sentences related to the days of the week. Okay, I work from Monday to Friday. I work from Monday to Friday. Okay, I learn Thai every day. I learn Thai every day. So remember one means day and tuk means every or all. So tuk one every day or all days. One last sample sentence. Today I stay at home in Thai. Wan ni chan yu ban. Wan ni chan yu ban. Oh, remember that you can both mean to be somewhere or to stay somewhere. You. Okay. One last bit for day 12. So the verb to go. In Thai, we say I, I to go. So remember, we can use I as a preposition as well as a verb. So I can mean to go as well as to somewhere. Okay. So to go to work, we say I tham ngan, I tham ngan. To go to school, we say I long lian, I long lian. However, we use a different verb. Or to go home, we say kap ban, kap ban. Up means to return or to be back. 
Okay, so that's it for day 12. So let's move on to day 13. So we learned about the things that we usually find at the park. So at the park in Thai is his one's ha talana. His one's ha talana. Okay. So here are some sample sentences that we learned last time. Like on gam lang den lent, his one's ha talana. Like on gam lang den lent, his one's ha talana. Many people are strolling at the park. So remember, gam lang, gam lang is a present continuous marker. So we add that before the verb in order to form the present continuous tense of the verb. So gam lang den lent is to be strolling. Okay. So another example, mi dek gam lang lent, nai sanam dek lent. There's a child playing on the playground. Okay. So we have more sample sentences here. There are many beautiful flowers in the garden. So mi dok mai suai nga mag mai nai suan. Okay, so we can replace mag mai with yep mag. Okay, so we can say mi dok mai suai ngam yep mag nai suan. Also another sentence, chan hen ton mai suong nai suan. Okay, so remember the classifier for flowers, dok, dok. Okay, and for trees, ton, ton. Okay, so that's how we count flowers and trees. Okay, so we have more sample sentences here. Mi nok mag mai tini chai mai. Mi nok mag mai tini chai mai. Okay, there are lots of birds here, isn't it? So remember, we can also replace mag mai with yup ma. Okay, mi nok yup mag tini chai mai. So another sentence. I ride my bike there every Saturday. Chan ki zakayan pai thi nan tu kuan sao. Okay, so you can see here that we use pai as a preposition, but pai thi nan. So that means till there. So let's move on. How often in Thai we say boy can I? Boy can I? So if you want to say how you often do you go to the park? Un pai suan sa ta la na boy can I? So here we can find sample sentences that use adverbs of frequency. So always in Thai is summer, summer. So I always go to the park in Thai is pom pai suan sa ta la na summer. So uh, notice that we always add summer at the end. So I never talk to them. We say, "Chan mai khoi khoi gap pua khao." Mai khoi is never. So usually we would put the adverb before the verb, but there are exceptions like samu. Okay. Often in Thai we can say "boy boy" or "mak da." I often run at the park. Chan mak da wing thi suan sa ta la na. Or we can also say, "Chan wing thi suan sa ta la na boy boy." Okay. So uh, just like some oil, we add boy boy at the end of the sentence. We can also use the word okati. Okati. Okati is normally or usually. So if we want to say I usually run at the park or I normally run at the park, okati chan wing thi suan sa talana. We can also put the adverb okati before the verb. Chan pokati wing thi suan sa talana. So last example. Sometimes in Thai is bang hang. Bang hang. Sometimes I drink coffee at work. We say bang hang pom kin cafe nai thi tham ngan. So notice that we use thi tham ngan as a noun of its own to mean workplace. So that's it for day 13. So let's move on to day 14. So on day 14, we wrote a short paragraph about a family and the usual activities that families do. Okay, so here is an example. Well, we don't have to dwell on this because we already finished this exercise two days ago. We can move on to day 15. So day 15, we learned about wants and needs. So we have the same word for to want and to need in Thai, which is ya. Ya. However, we have specific ways of saying to want something, to need something, or to want someone or to need someone. Okay, so to want something or to need something, we say ya dai, ya dai. And to want someone or to need someone, we say yak me, yak me. If you want a new phone, you would say yak dai thola sap mai. And for example, if you want a younger brother, you would say yak me nong shai. Okay? So if we want to do or need to do something, we simply use ya, and then we add the verb after it. If, for example, I want to drink water, you say yak kin nam, yak kin nam. I want to eat yak kin khao. I want to go home. Okay. 
So here are some examples that use ya. Yeah. What do you want to do today? วันนี้คุณอยากทำอะไรวันนี้คุณอยากทำอะไร What would you like to do today? วันนี้คุณอยากจะทำอะไร So อยากจะ sort of means would like. I would like some tea. You would say อยากจะกินชา Okay. So another example. What do you need to buy? คุณอยากเสื้อไหล่คุณอยากเสื้อไหล่ So here are examples of things that we usually need to buy. Toothpaste. ยาสีฟันยาสีฟัน Toothbrush. แป้งสีฟันแป้งสีฟัน Soap. สบู่สบู่ Toilet paper. กระดาษชำระกระดาษชำระ Shampoo. แชมพูสะผมแชมพูสะผม Or you can simply say shampoo, shampoo. So, for example, if you want to say I need to buy shampoo, you would say อยากซื้อแชมพู Okay. So how to say first, second, third, fourth, and so on in Thai? So we say leg for first. However, for second and above, we simply have to use T, T, and then add the number. So, for example, second is T สอง third is T สาม fourth is T สี่ fifth is T ห้า Sixth is T ho. Seventh T z. Eighth T bad. Ninth T kau. And tenth T s i p If we want to list down something, we can use the word pakan. For example, first thing I need to buy soap. Pakan leg. อยากซื้อสบู่ Second thing you would say pakan ที่สอง I want to go to the garden. Pakan ที่สองอยากไปสวน So we simply use pakan. And then the word for first, second, third, and so on. Okay, so let's move on. Once, twice, more and more. So we use the word k a n g k a n g for time. So once is k a n g n u n g twice, s o n g k a n g thrice, s a m k a n g four times, s i k a n g We simply add the number before k a n g except for n u n g because we add n u n g after k a n g And also, if you want to say first time, you would say ครั้งแรก second time, ครั้งที่สอง third time, ครั้งที่สาม So, for example, if you experience something for the first time, you would have to use ครั้งแรก because ครั้งหนึ่ง has a different meaning. Okay. So once more in Thai is อีกครั้ง So อีก is like more, and then again and again in Thai is ครั้งแล้วครั้งเล่า Okay. So let's move on. Can and cannot in Thai we say die or pen. Cannot is my die or my pen. Okay, so remember die uh, can mean to be able to or to be allowed to or may in English, and pen is to know how to do something. So for example, if you know how to cook, you say ทำอาหารเป็น We can also use die in that sentence. So here's an example of a sentence that uses die. ฉันพูดไทยได้นิดหน่อย I can speak a little Thai, okay. So if you want to say I don't speak Thai, you would say ฉันพูดไทยไม่ได้ or you can also say ฉันพูดไทยไม่เป็น So that's it for day 15 and our revision of the previous week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, ขอบคุณมากนะครับคนที่รับชมวิดีโอนี้ See you tomorrow. เจอกันพรุ่งนี้นะครับสวัสดีครับ